What's up guys, my name is Sailor Trash. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix a very, or at least I, I'm assuming a very uncommon Mineways problem. Now one of the problems with Mineways is that when you import your world and you render it, all the textures are blurry and the wheat or the glass just look like big ass freaking black blocks. So I'm going to be showing you how to fix that today. So really, oops, I just remembered. I have my mouse off. I want you to be able to see what I click on. Hopefully you can see it, but I don't really know. So you're just going to export your world like you would any other world. Don't change any of the settings. And you should just come out with this. So you'll come out with your MLT file, your PDF, or at least it's PDF for me, but that's actually the .obj. Then all your textures here. So you're going to go into Blender, import and dot obj and you can just select the dot obj you don't have to highlight both of them I don't know what it does but it doesn't make a difference for me anyway so import and this might take a second because it did before and I have no idea why and it's probably gonna crash because blender is a dick along with the Zeus Yeah, man. Yeah, man. There you go. Oh, I had it in texture mode. That's why it didn't work. Okay. So, you've got this. And when you render it, it looks ugly as hell. And that's pretty friggin' ugly. Let me show you guys how to fix the blurry textures, the wheat, and the torches, which are in the background. I just stopped it because I really don't want to sit here and watch it render. So, First things first with the blurry textures. All you're going to do, and I know this is probably a pain in the butt, but it's better than having to terraform everything yourself. So all you're going to do is right click um, basically every block or every item that is in here, and you're going to go into your textures. I'm just going to scroll up here, and you're just going to add this, which is fine. So I'm going to get rid of the unnecessary crap. So all you have to be focusing on is image sampling. Now image sampling you'll find MIP map. Uncheck that. Interpolation, whatever the heck that does. Uncheck that. And filter, change it to area. Now when you render it, it will look less blurry. Now just do that with every single thing. Let me just do that real quickly. I've even retextured the water because I really hate their water textures. It looks like shit. No, I want to get the farmland there. Let me get the farmland. There we go. Thank ya. Did I get everything? I think I did. Oh, except the most obvious thing, the grass blocks. So now let's render in and see what it looks like. Look at those amazing textures. Oh my god, it's so freaking overwhelming. I forgot the cobblestone block, but I don't really give a shit. That one I think I missed, but who cares? So that is how you do it. I know it's the biggest pain in the ass, but it works. And like I said before, it's better than terraforming. So now the next part is the torches and the wheat. And this also includes with the glass panes, or any glass that it imports. I forgot to mention that as well. So you'll see when you render it, they still look like black blobs very ugly black blobs so all you're going to do is go back into your textures now you will find you have two images here this is the alpha this is the texture itself now the texture itself already has alpha in it which you can tell by going into your colors oh wait no not into your colors I'm sorry into your image and it will say RGBA red green blue alpha which the black stuff is alpha so you really just go into this black and white picture thing that appear which also has alpha but no red green blue don't know why and get rid of it you can go bye bye it's not needed now when i render it it looks like that it's because i forgot something because i'm stupid let's try that again so the one part I did forget was that you go all the way down to the bottom 
into influence and highlight select alpha. You can just leave it where it is and it'll work. And then press that. And you have lovely, amazing looking things. Even though they look blurry, which I actually might have forgot to do something to them. I probably did. Because once again, I did. I'm stupid. Yep. And I'm going to do just the same thing with the torches as well, just to show you that they work. I don't think I've tried those yet, but I want to see if they work. It should work. I'm hoping it works. If it doesn't, I mean, I've spent months trying to figure this out. I googled, couldn't find Jack on this. But then I figured it out just now, because I'm a genius. Let me press the render button. And it's still going to look a little like crap because I have environmental lighting on. Sorry about that, but yeah. But as you can see, they don't look blurry, and they look actually pretty boss. Along with, hopefully, the torches. Yes, they look amazing. I think. I don't know what that looks like, but... Now let's really get a good render on this. So we can really see what it looks like. Alright, so I'm just going to need to add a lamp. And I'm just going to add a spot. Because I don't like suns, they don't do much, I don't know why, but they don't. Okay, okay then. Now let's make it bright to about there. Still looks like shit, but whatever. And render 100%. I can turn off my environmental lighting, and we'll press that render button. <laughs> As you can see. I didn't really put the whole uh, spot process together. Still, yeah, I didn't really do that right, but whatever. So as you can see, there you have it. Uh, like your favorite, enjoyed, subscribe, please, and I'll see you guys next time on whatever video I decide to make next, which actually I made a seven days video. Or, uh, not seven days, I'm sorry. God, I'm not doing that again. A uh, Dungeon Nightmares video, which I need to put together and edit. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy.